In this video, I'll show you something which is truly mind-blowing about the Raw Panel Dummies emulator. With any Skyhoy panel, you are basically able to render a perfect press photo of your panel, the Skyhoy panel, along with the content that you have put into it, like the feedback for LED colors and display content. And you can integrate that right into your marketing materials. So what, what is that? I mean, we need to put some, uh, some action to those words. And what I'll do right now is to just start up Raw Panel Dummies, as you have seen before. Um, the Rack Fusion Live panel is my target here. As I'm doing so, then uh, let's just move that over here so we have them next to each other. We have now an emulated Rack Fusion Live. If I press this Take Photo button, it's going to render a photorealistic version of this panel with exactly the content in it that it just had, which is the screensaver content waiting for blue pill. It's just waiting for connection. So obviously it's not super exciting, but just imagine if you had connected to this panel and put something in the panel of your choice, then you could basically take this into a slideshow or anything you want to show to your customer and make it clear to them what it is that um, they can expect when they take a Skyhoy panel and combine with your application. So that's what we can do. And uh, to illustrate that in uh, like real life, I have a blue pill over here and I just want quickly to add a few devices to this one. We should have on our network, I think we have an Atom switcher somewhere. So let's just see if we can find that. We have an Atom Mini right here. Thank you. And then I also know that we do have a Panasonic camera, my go-to camera, a Panasonic UE70 right here. and. I need to type in an IP address of this guy. This is our Overwatch camera from our showroom, basically this one. So that's the IP address of the Panasonic camera that I now uh, put into uh, the the, uh, the um, blue pill right here. I, I will add a panel and once again, we'll discover a panel because basically what I'm doing right now is running the, the blue pill here to scan the network for the um, Rack Fusion Live panel that I am emulating this guy and I'll select that. And it is now connecting and so on. I'll just add the camera real quick here. So um, just select the Panasonic camera. And I think we are basically ready. We could look into the configuration tool or the simulation inside of our reactor, but that is not what we'll be doing today, um, really. So, but but this is the, the view that you're probably used to see. Uh, we can simulate it by clicking here and we'll see content in these uh, uh, displays. We can also uh, click this button to see uh, um, preview uh, f uh, buttons in, in these um, buttons down here. And uh, in our emulator, we have the same. So basically anything I'm doing over in Reactor right now is actually reflected in the emulated panel. So uh, because of course that emulated panel is like the real panel. So you see as I'm clicking here, yeah, that panel is reacting like if it was the real panel. Now, let's just try that photo button once again. You see all this content in the displays and the colors in the buttons and knobs and so on. We will have that rendered into a photo if I press that button. So it's just updating now. And there you go. Pretty well done, isn't it? This is a really, really awesome feature, but it even gets better than that because we can start the emulator with something called Photoshoot. And that allows you to generate data, additional data that can be rendered into higher resolution images by sending it over to Skyhoy. So just get in touch with us if you want to do that. But um, let's try that option out, Photoshoot, like this. Okay, so what happens now is that the emulator is, um, it has a description field added, like this is the main view on the Rack Fusion Live. We just type that in here and then we can also um, have an application and a scene. So the application of this one could be Atom uh, and Pana PVC. Okay, that would be like my application for this one. So I would say, okay, the scene here is a home Oh, presets. Okay, presets. That's actually the scene. So I would take this photo like this. It's going to generate the photo in this separate tab. And now it is saved to file. So notice this uh, location here. If I open the web browser, then you see there's like an images folder where raw panel dummies was uh, just actually let's just create this. So this is the folder where from where I'm running raw panel dummies. So let's just reload this one and notice that this images folder is now being generated and inside of that one I have uh, two two uh, graphic files I have this PNG, uh, this JPEG image and I have a PNG the PNG has transparent background with drop shadow so so easy to just drop into your slideshows and the JPEG obviously is 
um, much less uh, resource intensive on, on the size. It's 118 kilobytes in this case. And the PNG file is like five times, uh, four times that size. Um, that's totally easy to understand because the PNG file is like uncompressed and it has the transparency inside of it. So you have those two options coming straight out of this system. But you also have some JSON files here. And inside this JSON file, you find basically everything that that it takes to render the photo, like the uh, description that I just um, entered right here. I have information on, um, on everything. So this can be put into a rendering application that Skaho has, and we can do this in much higher resolution for use in marketing material. So you just reach out to us and we'll help you get that done. But you can generate all this data also for manuals and so on. And now if, if we just go one step backwards, we can now navigate, I can actually navigate, right? So in here, I could say, okay, let's go back to the home screen here. We have selected the camera and I want to go to the, uh, what is this, the white balance view. Okay, that's fine. So up here, we would now keep with the same application that is like, you know, a lot of screenshots from the same combination of switcher system and camera. And I would type in here, um, white balance adjustment, white balance, and we'll take a photo. And it's now re rendering. Now notice what happens in this section over here, we now have rendered how this panel is going to look when we have the um, um, we are in the white balance menu for the camera selection on this side. So that's really, really awesome. And you see these files are being generated inside this images folder. And we can do that for any Skahoy panel. So let's try that on a mega panel. So we'll just go into Reactor here to the home screen and we will um, change our Rack Fusion Live. We'll just wait a second. I think I right click on this one, remove panel and configuration. Then I'm going to add a new panel. But before I do so, I'll just uh, restart my emulator. And this time I'll be using the MKT1, which is the transition block. And I will also use MK48 twice. MK48 twice. Yes, thank you. All right, so we have now the emulator is booting up here with these uh, panels. Oh, I did miss, I must have misspelled the MKT one. Ah, uh, it's because we have like an A and a B version. Okay, so MKT one A. Did I? Yeah, I did it right. Perfect. All right, so we have those and we'll go back to the blue pill. And in the blue pill, we will, um, let me see. Okay, we have like that twice. That's funny. All right, so I hold down shift, I can add this panel, I can add this panel and also like that. And I can add the MKT one here. Okay, nice. And then I can exit this one. So for the MKT one, uh, we have the mega panel ATEM small, let's just choose a medium version here, I have two panels I need to specify. And um, um, okay, what happened there, I'll just quickly go out of this one back to the home screen back to the home screen. Um, this MK 48, I think I would like to remove panel from configuration, that would be a good choice. And the same on this one from configuration, because then I can pick them down here. So uh, ID number one, let me see, yeah, that was connected. And then ID number three. So we have those connected here. And then I think I have some configuration in surplus down here that I just need to delete. All right. So now we are set up with these uh, being a um, mega panel. And obviously, we have an A to mini, which is not exactly a mega switcher system, but it doesn't matter too much because I think we're still uh, pretty well off here with uh, the uh, mega panel view of things. Uh, now they are layering a little bit on top of each other, but we see content in the uh, transition block. We see it for the MKT uh, one here, and that's all we need actually, I think. So let's just quickly check our simulation, which is what we have right here. So that is one of the panels. This is another one of the panels and it has uh, the program preview uh, up here. And then finally we have the transition block. Now, guess what guys, if we document this, this is the home screen of the mega panel. Okay, so we'll just type that in, we'll um, use mega panel as the application tag and then write home screen, take photo. And now it is generating photorealistic images of my panels, including remember, including graphical files that are saved on my desk, including JSON information that will make it possible to render these in higher resolution. <laughs> so there we go. Okay, there you have the the transition block, you have this one, uh, one of the MK 48s, and then the second of the MK 48s. 
And of course, once again, you could go back here and then you could just uh, say, okay, let's enter into the menu and do some stuff in here. Um, uh, we will choose, yeah, okay, auxiliary. And that actually means something for what we see up here. And um, we are currently auxiliary one is one of the channels. So that's what we see here. Now we could, okay, let's just go in here. So we see the menu, menu and aux. Okay, we can just write that, take photo, and it's gonna generate new photos here where we have a different content in these uh, buttons and displays here. So it's still generating. Just wait, just wait, there we go. Now we have that menu that we were just looking at and we also have a different uh, layout on the first panel. So in this way, we can generate these photos, which are super great for press material. And uh, that is a service to you guys using raw panel and Skyhoy panels that we are giving you this tool to make it so easy to make impressive communication to your customers with the content you put onto our raw panel compliant devices.